Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Evidence Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of test science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Consecutive Available Seeds and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is a 27th video of the series called Consecutive Available Seeds and if I look at the companies this question has been asked in. Amazon a number of times so kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called cinema with two different columns seat id and free seat id is an auto increment column for this table each row of this table indicates whether the ith seat is free or not one means free while zero means occupied we are asked to find all the consecutive available seats in the cinema return the result table ordered by seat id in ascending order okay the test cases are generated so that more than two seats are consecutively available okay let's go through this example so here we have five different records for five different seats and whether they are free or not so what all seats are consecutively free three four and five because one means free so three four and five are consecutively free and that is what we have in our output so to do this question the logic we need to employ is we can find that for every seat whether the seat before that is free or not or whether the seat after that is free or not because if a seat has to be consecutively free so either the seat before that is free and the current seat is free or the current seat is free and the next seat is free so for example here since there is no seat before this so for this seat we need to look at okay what is the next seat seat id 2 and it is not free so obviously 1 and 2 are not consecutively free now let's look at 2 and 3 so this current seat is not free and the next one is free so obviously not consecutively free now current seat is free Bef the seat before is not free but the seat after is free so 3 is going to be out in the output F similarly for 4 the seats before as well as after is free and for 5 there is no seat after 5 but the seat before 5 that is 4 is free so 3 4 and 5 are free so to employ this logic what we can do is we have learned about the window functions lead and lag so we can try to find out whether the be seat before the current seat and seat after the current seat is free or not so how can we do that from this table called cinema let's keep both the columns select star and then try to find out where the status of the seat before the current row so lag of the column free over and you need to order by seat id order by seat id and let's call this as before okay and then similarly what we can do is we can find the next the status of the seat next to the current seat so let me just copy this here because all we need to do is just change this to lead and then this should be aliased as after okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so if i look at my output so obviously the current seat there is nothing before this so null but after this the seat is not free similarly for seat id2 before this is free and after this is free as well okay so now once we have this since we came up with the logic that for a current seat to be consecutively free the seat before that should be free or the seat after that should be free so from this entire thing let's call this entire thing that we created as a table t so from this table called t right so this entire thing goes into parentheses and let's call this as t and then we need to keep only those rows where so the current seat that is free is equal to one right so the current seat is free and the before seat is free right so and before seat is equal to one or if that is not true then the current seat is free and the after seat is free as well okay so what is this basically doing so for example here it will look at okay where free is equal to one okay so the current seat is free but is the before seat free no is the after seat free no so obviously one should not be in the output similarly for two but for this right so for seat id three the before seat is not free but after seat is free okay so keep seat id 3 similarly for 4 and in the output we only need the seat id so what we can do is for these kind of rows firstly let me you know keep all select star right let me just show you what this is going to return 
ओके सो इफ आई लुक एट इट सो इट इज गोइंग टू रिटर्न सीट आई डी थ्री फोर एंड फाइव बट वी ओनली रिक्वायर द सीट आई डी सो रिटर्न सीट आई डी एंड दिस शुड ऑल्सो बी ऑर्डर्ड बाई सीट आई डी इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो ऑर्डर बाई सीट आई डी ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द एंटायर सोल्यूशन लुक्स लाइक लेट मी गोड एंड रन दिस लेट सी वॉट डू गेट इन आर आउटपुट सो या दिस इज एक्सेप्टेड आर आउटपुट इज सेम इज एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट लेट मी गोड एंड सबमिट इज पास ऑल द टेस्ट केसेज so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it yes not a very difficult question but you need to know the window functions lead and lag if you want to apply this logic obviously there would be other ways you can do this question as well so what we did was firstly we found out the status of the seat before the current seat and after the current seat and we simply employed the logic that if a seat has to be consecutively free so your current status should be free and before would should be free or if this is not the true case then current seat should be free and after seat should be free then you keep that particular seat that okay this is in a consecutive free seat okay so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video